Misschien die aflevering daarvoor zijn we aan het proberen om Ernest zijn onschuld te bewijzen. En laten we dat deze aflevering eens proberen te gaan doen. Yes, this is where I followed the cat to. To these roses again. And you caught the cat here? Well, I did pick it up in my arms, but it managed to wiggle free again. Uh, I obviously flustered it, because I jumped straight through the open window inside the building, that one on the right. On the right? Ah, oh, there you mean. And did you go after it again? Well, I was worried it might damage something inside, so I climbed up in um, up to the loop through the window. Okay, but then I slipped and fell headlong inside myself. It's because of the beautiful roses growing night right next to the windowsill. Um, I was being so careful not to trample them. I got myself into a funny position, and well, uh, it made me go sort of oopsie daisy right into the room. And the room happens to be Dr. Ohm's laboratory. So you fell into Dr. Ohm's laboratory from the window, that's about the size of it. Yes, exactly. It was simply an unfortunate accident and I ended up in there at all. Okay. Then as I was rowing my head after uh, it had taken a knock, someone who I presume was a student came into the room. Uh, the cat immediately shot out of the open door and into the corridor before you could blink. No one else saw it. So when I told people I've been chasing a cat, everyone thought I was lying. I see, and that's how you came to be a sub suspect. Yes, they thought I was a burglar. Uh, so then I uh, had to be questioned by the police. Finally then, we've reached the scene of the crime. I see how your movements uh, this morning let you here. Well, Miss Leighton, do you think you can prove my innocence? All I think I can prove at the moment is that you're incredibly unlucky. Oh, I think everyone knows that already. But you have one stroke of luck today, Ernest. What's that? You met me. Don't worry, I'll work something out, probably. I hope you can, miss. This is the window, isn't it? Uh, the one which the cat and you uh, entered the laboratory. Yes, it was open a slither and the cat squeezed through. All right then, let's follow in our footsteps and squeeze in as well. Wait, we can do that, Miss Layton. Why not? Because you can't just climb into rooms through windows. But if we're following in your footsteps, we have to. Yes, I understand. But we could get into trouble, more trouble. The police might start saying that you are a thief as well. Uh, I suppose you have a point. So what do you suggest? We go around uh, and in through the main entrance? That seems a bit dull. I think doll might be for the best, miss. Just this once. No, thank you, go. Okay. Well, this is this place really hasn't changed at all. I've done it, Miss Layton. I've. Finally proper, properly entered Gressenheller in University. Not through a window, but actually through the front door. I think it might be alone in your uh, I think you might be alone in your excitement about this, Ernest. So let me find uh, our way to Dr. Ohm's laboratory, shall we? Time is of the essence. Oi, you two. Oh no, it's him again. Who's him, eh? The cat's mother? It's Inspector Hastings for you, sunshine. Hello, Inspector. I think I just saw your cat. Actually, is that why you're here? Have you lost it? Uh, are you trying to be funny, miss? I'm investigating the case, as you very well know. Yes, of course. The case of Dr. Ohm's stolen research papers. Have you discovered any new information? No, we haven't got any new leads yet. We just... Hang on, why am I telling you anything? Keep your nose out of police business. Tsk. I thought you had... I had you there for a moment. You think I would fall for a cheap trick like that? You'll be lucky. Um, I thought I told you to come, uh, go home back the yard, didn't I? So uh, what are you doing here? We're also investigating the case. I thought I could prove Ernest was innocent. 
Innocent? Good luck with that! Uh, this lad here is the prime suspect, but I really didn't do it. There's no point keeping up the pr uh, pretense, sunshine. Okay, from now on, no one goes in without permission. But inspector, we won't be able to. Very well. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. Now clear off. I ah, wedden dat we alsnog toch gaan proberen uh, erin te komen. <laughs> Where are we going, miss? Just follow me. Believe me, a single woman living alone in London doesn't let little things like this stop them. Oh, um, alright. Did I say... Uh, I did say I trust you, so... Okay. Volgens mij kan je hier in de latent games ook komen. Dat is wel vet. Where are we going, miss? We need to get the permission to enter the lab. As it happens, I was coming here uh, today to meet with someone who may be uh, able to help us in that regard. I'm sure he'll say we're allowed into the lab. Really? But I thought Inspector Hazing was in charge. The problem is where to find them. Perhaps we should ask that detective over there if we've seen them. Oh yes, alright. Excuse me, DC Booker, could I ask you something? I wonder have you, uh, if you have seen Dean Delmona around here anywhere. The Dean? Well, according to my notes here, yes, I was also looking for him. It seems I wanted to ask him some questions, but apparently uh, he was off campus. Oh dear, off campus? Do you happen to know where he's gone? To Scotland Yard, as far as I know, to meet with Inspector Hastings. Oh, but we saw the, uh, just saw the inspector inside. They've obviously missed each other then. Yes, I, um, I'll i just note that down. Well, it looks like we have to head back to Scotland Yard ourselves. Then, uh, we have to find the Dean. Yes, I need to discuss some things with him. Gosh, I can't believe you know the Dean, Miss Layton. That's amazing. That is zeker amazing. Yeah. Zijn vader kent de dien wel. Oh, haar vader kent de dien wel. I, I'll explain some other time. Maat. Oké. Okay. So, let's get a move on. Na 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 we gaan wel weer naar de business district hoor. Naar Scotland Yard. Nou dan, waar is hij? Ah, daar is hij, over daar. Oh yes, is het really hem? No, never. At the welcome ceremony, he was just a little dot up on the stage, at the front of the hall. Gosh, my palms are sweating. Hello Dean, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Catriel, Catriel Leighton, well bless my cotton socks. I must certainly, uh, it must most certainly has been a long time. How are you, my girl? Very well, thank you. You haven't changed at all. Haha, <laughs> tell me, how's your father? I haven't seen him in a while actually either. No, he's gone missing. Missing? Yes, they're looking uh, into it here at Scotland Yard as, as it happens, but nothing yet. Oh, the listing game will need holy shit. That's actually why I wanted to see you. Do you know where he might have gone? I have absolutely no idea. I'm terribly sorry. Catriel, I wish I could be more helpful. Still, I wouldn't uh, worry about old Herschel. Uh, whenever he is, I'm sure he's perfectly fine. No doubt, doubt he will show up again soon enough. As if nothing had happened. Yes, I'm sure you're right. You know, I'm glad I bumped into you actually. 
My granddaughter uh, has just sent me another puzzle in the post. Oh, we moeten weer een puzzel voor hem gaan oplossen. Troublesome. The professor has written a sum on the board, but doesn't make but it doesn't make any sense. Uh, it can apparently be fixed by adding a curvy line in one location. Okay. But which curvy line is the right one? Uh, bear in mind that there are no need to rotate the line in question. Okay. You uh, use it just how it's already displayed. 104 is 96. Nou, dan is dat toch deze. Niet zo moeilijk. This should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Moeilijk. Oké. Okay. Of course, that's how it's done. Well, thank you, Catriel. I won't have to disappoint my little angel now. What a relief! Glad you have been. Uh, I have been of assistance. I actually came down here to Scotland Yard to meet with Inspector Hastings, but I can't find the man anywhere. That's because he's at the university, I'm afraid. Oh, you mean we just met each other, did we? How irritating. Uh, I hear there's been an incident on the car or, uh, campus, a theft. Yes, a nasty business. That's what I come to talk uh, with the inspector about. I would like to ask you to permission to investigate the case myself, Dean. You, Catriel? Yes, I get uh, to the bottom. I will get to the bottom of it. But the police are already on their way with their investigation. I'm aware of that. But I think perhaps a different perspective might be called for. I'm, I may be able to see things in a way that the police can't. Hmm. Alright then. I can't really uh, see any harm in it. I'll allow it. Uh, if you've your father crime-solving skills, no doubt, doubt you'll see to the, to the heart of the matter in an instant. Thank you. So you'll permit us to in, into Dr. Ohm's laboratory, I presume, the scene of the crime? Yes, yes, of course. You have uh, free reign um, over the entire university for this, Catriel. Wonderful. In that case, I'll be getting straight down into business. Good luck. I would like this cleared up as soon as possible. The reputation of the university will suffer if it drags on. I say, that was Beezer. Double Beezer. You are chatting with the Dean as if you are old friends. And more importantly, he has given us permission we need to investigate the laboratory. It is fantastic Mundo. Hooray Mundo. Me. Oh, we give all that. Na 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 na. All right, here we are then. Dr. Ohm's laboratory is just up ahead. Oh look, miss, there he is, Inspector Hastings. Not you two again. I've had just about enough of your sauce, all right? You're not coming in here, and that's final. Actually, it's not. I, we have permission to investigate the laboratory now. In fact, we have permission to whatever we deem necessary for our inquiries. Come on, you think you're, I was born yesterday and who gave you permission, eh? Because it was certainly it wasn't me. Dean Delmona authorized it personally. Uh, the Dean? Presumably, you are not going to flood his, uh, his authority. I, I don't, Dean Delmona said it was alright. Go on then, in you go. Thank you, Inspector. Come on, uh, come along, Ernest. Do, do excuse us, Inspector. I don't know uh, what the Dean's playing uh, at letting you clowns investigate. Wat een vuile beta was hij vroeger. Holy shit, nu is hij onze grootste fan, maar nu is het gewoon onze vu een vuile beta. This is it, miss. The research laboratory of the highly regarded Dr. Gene Ohm. Isn't it exciting? 
So this is where the institute plays and you got in here uh, through that window over there was it? That's right, that's the window I was peering uh, in through uh, when I slipped and fell inside with an oops a daisy. Did I mention that? You did, and that's presumably Dr. Ohms over there. Uh, according to Inspector Hastings, he's accused you, he has accused you of the crime. Gosh, I idolized the man, uh, idolized the man, sorry. Uh, but he thinks I'm a criminal. Well, I think you, we should start by interviewing him. Excuse me, Miss uh, Dr. Ohm? Mm, who are you? I'm Katria Leyden. Dilda Mona has given me permission to investigate the theft of your research papers. Ah, oh, it's a disgrace, I'll tell you. And wait, you are the young chap who took them. No, I assure you, Professor. Uh, I've been wrongfully accused. I didn't do it. What are you even doing here? Didn't they take you back to Scotland Yard? They did, but they had to let me go because they don't have enough evidence to hold me. Clearly, Ernest, uh, Ernest here was acting suspiciously and did enter the laboratory through a window, but he's not a culprit. I intend to clear Ernest's name by finding the true thief and bringing him uh, or her to justice. Uh, we'll need to make a thorough uh, search of this laboratory in order to gather supporting evidence. Hmm, I don't know what you think you'll be able to find, but if the Dean's giving you his permission, I can't stop you. Be my guest, just don't upset any of my experiments. Thank you, we'll try uh, not to take too much of your time. Bouquet. Dr. Ohm's desk is viably tidy, isn't it? Uh, a far cry for, uh, from a certain other Crescent Hunter professor, that's for sure. A certain other, sorry. Never mind, it's just that you gen uh, generally think of academics uh, being engrossed in their work. Excuse me, I don't know what other academics you know, but I'll thank you uh, not to tar me with such a shame brush. Oh, sorry, I didn't think you could hear me. I'm clean and tidy by nature. I can't relax unless I have any, everything in order. It's really very simple. You put things away after you finish using them and put the rubbish in the bin. When you've finished with document, documents, you dispose them promptly. You can't write a coherent paper about anything if you're surrounded by mess. Och, toch nog ergens een hint meentje. Oeh, een puzzel, nice. This is Dr. Ohm's research equipment. I'm sure it's the very best, probably rather expensive. Do you suppose he ever drops things when he's conducting experiments? Chemicals and things, I mean. Oh yes, I'm afraid that does happen. Like this. Ooh, and the puzzel. Per, uh, precious medicine, okay. A viable bottle of medicine has slipped out of the boy's hands. Try to limit the damage by placing one piece of wood so that as little as mess medicine spills on the floor as possible. Where would the best place uh, to position the wood? Would be the best place to position the wood? Slide it to move it and touch it to rotate. Oh. Kijk of so in conclusion, <laughs> ik ben zo tam te smart die pants in. Oh, dit is van out of the box denk ik. Uh, ik ben zo slimpy. Oh, 
Goed, we gaan kijken wat Dr. Oom voor ons kan betekenen de volgende keer. Adios, amigos.